Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have the High Grade Grimoire Red Beret. Uh, now this High Grade is really awesome. Uh, the base kit is actually based on the High Grade um, Grimoire from g -Rec. Um Now I've never built that kit before, uh, i actually never seen it, so I can't really give a good comparison. However, with building this kit, I can definitely assure you that this kit is fantastic and a very, very solid build. So let's go ahead and get into the articulation. Okay, so we're taking a look at the head. Uh, the head does look up and down. Uh, not really too much, it's just on a single ball joint right inside there. Uh, so it's, I mean, you can move uh, as well as you would expect it to, but uh, overall it's not going to be anything too spectacular. And there is going to be a clear piece. Now, there's supposed to be a sticker, which is uh, located right here. This big old sticker is supposed to go underneath uh, that part, and you're supposed to go ahead and see that reflection. But I decided to go ahead and paint it a metallic light blue. And then the same is for the back of the head. Uh, you're supposed to use one of these stickers, but just went ahead and painted that. And I went ahead and painted that little silver uh, detail for, uh, I guess that is a um, Gatling gun, or uh, not a Gatling gun, but a um, uh, Vulcans, that's what they're called. Okay, and so moving on with the body. Um, I've always found this kind of like ball uh, torso to be kind of weird. Um, never really was intrigued by it, but uh, looking at it now, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't really see any kind of issues with it, and um, there's quite a few places for panel lining, so that's always cool to go ahead and give it uh, some of those extra details. But there's going to be a, a ball joint in here and a ball joint uh, right into the waist, so you get like pretty much the basic rotation. This can kind of go up and down. Uh, not really too much on the side to side movement though, but overall basically uh, good pivot points uh, so that way he can rotate all the way around. Okay, let's take a look at the arms. Uh, so there's going to be just a little uh, ball joint right here so you can move uh, back and forth and then up that far and down this far, but there's going to be this little piece right here on the neck. Uh, so essentially you can't really go too far up because of the shoulder. Uh, and this little shoulder piece can move individually as well as uh, this one. So this can kind of just rotate on its own. Um, now the, the articulation in the actual arm I don't think it's really that good. Uh, it's just a 90 degree bend, but I mean, it's so it's okay for what it is. I mean, I don't I don't really mind it, but yeah, I mean, in comparison to most high grades nowadays, this is a little bit lacking. Um, now, when it comes to the wrist articulation, this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I really actually had a kit that was like this, um, but it's it's kind of like on this little piece. Uh, that connects, I think it's on a ball joint on the inside, uh, or I think it's just like a little peg. Um, but essentially you just move it up and down and it can rotate 360. Um, not really much on the side to side movement, but it, you know, it, it's just kind of like unique how it's on this little um, piece that I think is connected to a peg and it just kind of rotates back and forth. So I thought that was pretty dope. And then the, uh, the hands obviously is gonna be open hand to carry up uh, any weapons. And it's also gonna have uh, this open palm hand so I don't think it looks that good I think it looks kind of cheap uh, but if you want to go ahead and have any, any kind of dynamic poses with an open hand you can and then you're also gonna have uh, an extra you know hand for the uh, the left side if you want to go ahead and make it hold the weapon in that arm Okay, so let's take a look at the waist. Uh, these front little skirts, these are gonna be on uh, basically little pegs. So if you wanna rotate them, you're more welcome to. Uh, but I'd, I'd rather just leave them like so. Uh, now the front skirts, obviously, they can go ahead and uh, move up that much. So nothing really too crazy. Uh, these little parts right here are stagnant because they're connected to uh, the front, like pretty much the whole front piece up here. Uh, this is all connected. So these two things ain't gonna move. But these little uh, blue kind of like strips right here, uh, these are actually supposed to be stickers uh, right there. So you can go ahead and utilize that if you want. And then this uh, side skirt is going to be on a little um, like ball joint peg. Well, not ball joint, sorry. Uh, but a little peg connected to a uh, poly cap inside there. So it can move up and down and rotate. And the back skirt, of course, is not going to be a movable, movable piece at all. 
All right, and taking a look at the legs. Um, now the legs can do pretty much the splits. Um, you just gotta go ahead and get these uh, side skirts out the way and you're not gonna have any problem uh, doing these splits. And obviously they can go up all the way with the skirts out of the way, like so. And going back, uh, I guess if you kind of like bring it a little bit to the side, um, it can go back quite a bit. So not really too much as far as uh, limitations when it comes to the waist. And then right below um, the hip, you can go ahead and rotate it like so. And for the bend, once again, it's pretty similar to the elbow uh, where it's only going to do a 90 degree bend so uh, not really that spectacular in my opinion and then the uh, ankle pretty much uh, is on a ball joint so it can go well it's on a dual um, it's a peg on the inside right here and then it's going to be a uh, ball joint right here but overall it can go ahead and move around no issues can move forward and then the ankle is going to be on an individual ball joint uh, peg on the inside uh, right there so I think it looks pretty good um, now I, I can go into articulation with this but we'll go ahead and get into that when we go to uh, gimmicks and weapons but the feet are pretty good uh, they can actually you know kind of bend and uh, have a little pivot point so I like that. Most, I think a lot of high grades need to incorporate um, a, a, a very appropriate bend so that way you can go ahead and do more grounded dynamic um, poses. So that looks pretty good. Now when it comes to stickers, uh, there's going to be some of these little white stickers. Um, kind of hard to pick up with all, all the light glaring. Um, but you're going to have uh, three of these little star stickers. And it really just requires you to place one right there on the leg. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and put some you know, in other places, you're more than welcome to. And then also before I get into the weapons, you're going to have some extra uh, pieces. So you're going to have some parts right here and you're going to have some parts uh, right here. So it's just stuff from the uh, the Grimoire. And you're going to have one extra uh, red part for the shoulder. So if you want two red shoulder pieces, you're more welcome to. But uh, I'd rather just keep it exactly how it's supposed to in the manual. Okay now, so talking about the weapons, uh, the first one we're going to talk about is going to be the plasma knife. Uh, now the knife itself uh, is going to come in all red, so you're going to go have to uh, paint this silver if you want to go ahead and have it a little bit more accurate. Um, I just went ahead and left these little red parts right there because I think it looked uh, a little bit better and just went ahead and pan aligned it. Uh, so it's just going to have, um, you know, not really anything crazy. It does have some pretty good details. Uh, you're actually going to get three of these. The other two are going to be for uh, the mini mores, but we'll go ahead and get into those once we start talking about those. And then when you're not using the plasma knife, uh, you can go ahead and store it on either side of the back skirt. I wouldn't want to put it all the way in because it would be a little bit difficult to get out, but uh, just storing it right there is actually going to be fine. Okay, and the next weapon we're going to take a look at is going to be the assault rifle. Uh, this thing is actually pretty cool because I didn't know uh, just how many different functionalities it actually has. Uh, so for starters, you can actually take this part out and then this becomes a uh, little pistol. And then down here, it looks like this is another like like beam missile. I, I'm not really a uh, beam pistol of sorts, so I'm not really too sure, but that can uh, also be detached from here. Uh, now this can also be um, detached. I don't know really what that functionality is, uh, but if you want to go ahead and plug in something else to it, uh, you more than likely can. I, I guess he kind of like works with uh, some of those um, extra weapon sets that's uh, been releasing, but if you want to go ahead and do that, uh, you can go ahead and detach that and should be fine. You also got these little peg holes right here, uh, so if you want to go ahead and plug something into the side of this weapon, uh, you can definitely do so like that. And then uh, it's going to require a little like pink sticker um, for the scope, but uh, I just went ahead and painted mine, but if you want to go ahead and utilize uh, the sticker, you definitely can. And overall, it looks really good. Um, I'm actually a pretty big fan of this weapon. When I first saw it, I was like, eh, it's just very generic. But um, just seeing all the different functionalities that it has, I think it looks uh, pretty awesome. Okay, and the hand weapons look amazing as well. Uh, this being a grenade launcher, so that's pretty awesome. And then this just being a normal pistol. But overall, I think these two wielded uh, individually look just as fantastic as with them being on the assault weapon itself. 
Okay, and this kit is also going to have a, uh, a shield, so I just went ahead and painted some gray into it because uh, I think it says, well, it doesn't say it, uh, but it definitely shows in the instruction manual that it has a hint of gray. So I just went ahead and just touched that up a little bit just for uh, aesthetics. And it will easily plug into the arm by just sliding it uh, from, the underneath, from underneath the, uh, the forearm and bam, now it's gonna be uh, a little bit loose, but uh, overall it will be attached in there. And then uh, this part can actually rotate uh, on its own. Okay, and this kit actually has another gimmick, which uh, I'm gonna pretty much use a stand for. Uh, but the first thing I wanna talk about is going to be the inline dash, uh, which th this is definitely a wheel that can, um, can turn. So the back wheels rotate, which is really awesome. However, the front wheel cannot. Now the reason behind that is because now you're gonna have uh, this nice little scissor claws mechanic. Uh, so basically the front leg is gonna come out like so, and then the toe that has the wheel, that's gonna come out as well. So now you're gonna have uh, the, basically these little claw parts. Okay, and the last surprise for this kit are going to be the mini mowers. Now, they're both pretty cool. Um, you're only gonna get these two with the kit, uh, but the inside of here is going to be gold. Uh, now, it does come with stickers, and the other one is going to be pink, and that one comes with stickers as well. But I just went ahead and opt out and painted them uh, myself. Now, they're each gonna come with their own individual knives, uh, and they can be pretty much held right here into this arm, or you could take it and then you could plug it right here in the back. Uh, I think it goes. All right, and there you go. So if you wanna go ahead and have this little thing um, holding the knife right behind it, you are more than welcome to. Now the legs right here can uh, definitely rotate. Uh, they're all in just little pegs, so they individually rotate up and down. Now I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's really that cool as far as, uh, you know, having having them be displayed, like they're okay, but for the most part, like they're just an okay gimmick, um, and it's kind of a little difficult to get them to stand sometimes, uh, just kind of depending. I think for for this one in particular, all right, there we go. So I thought the knife would be a little bit uh, back heavy, but it looks like it's going to be fine. So overall, they do look pretty cool, and uh, they're not like they're not like a, a bad thing. I would just say like. For me in particular, I'm not too fond of having the Grimoire's heads be like little drones. Okay, and when not in use, you can go ahead and store them into the backpack. So uh, this part just comes down like so. Uh, one thing to mention is that it's gonna have some pegs right here, which I'm pretty sure that's gonna be for the tilt rotor, uh, but we'll go ahead and see once the tilt rotor actually comes out. Now for the, uh, the knives, you can actually place the knives right inside here, so um, I think it goes, okay, so I finally got them in there, but um, essentially they just peg right into uh, these like little slots, uh, so it's not really too difficult. But let's go ahead and get the uh, mini mowers right in there. So with the mini mowers, they're not really difficult at all. These, they pretty much have these little holes right there, and you just plug this little part right inside. Okay, so make sure you put the green one in first, and then the blue one's gonna go directly after, and then you can go ahead and close them up like so. Okay, so what are my overall thoughts and opinions on this kit? Well, I think it is a fantastic kit. Um, now, there are some limitations when it comes to the posability, articulation, uh, but I think the surface detail is really good. Now, there's a lot of different places, such as like maybe on a side skirt right there, uh, maybe even these little tiny parts right here, um, maybe these little parts on the leg. There's a lot of different places that you can go ahead and paint it however you want. I just kind of opt out and just kind of like left it um, more plain than uh, I kind of like normally do for a high grade. Uh, but this looks really good. Um, I, I think it's a fantastic build. It was actually very simplistic. So this can easily take you a day to go ahead and knock out. Uh, I mean, definitely maybe only a couple hours if you're only doing um, basic panel lining and then uh, shaving the nubs. But that's, that's pretty much the, um, that's the gist. I mean, it's a very simplistic build. Uh, I don't really see any kind of complications with this. And uh, obviously if you want to get into customization, there's definitely a lot of options on here because there's some pegs, uh, maybe like in the shoulder if you want to go ahead and utilize that. Uh, some stuff on the backpack. Um, 
maybe utilize some um some parts uh, i don't know maybe even on, like on the legs i know there's no i don't think there's any no, there's no pegs on the legs um but if you want to go ahead and just kind of throw some things on this uh i think it would just look good I, I, there's not really much um you can do to turn this design into a terrible design i mean the thing even has roller blades um, so I think that's just that to me that's even fantastic uh, there's not too many mobile suits out there that have wheels on their legs uh, so the fact that this one does have it and um, you know I get to have this one in my collection as the first rollerblade uh, mobile suit um, in my collection that's pretty awesome so overall guys I definitely recommend this and if you want to go out there and purchase it it's a pretty cheap uh, purchase I think it's like maybe 17 18 dollars um, so if you're definitely overseas, uh, hopefully you don't get hit, hit too hard in the shipping. Um, but for, I would say 20 bucks, this is actually definitely worth the money. If you're going past 20 bucks, I'm like, uh, maybe wait for a sale. Uh, but definitely, uh, between $15 and 20 bucks is easily uh, a good price range for this mobile suit, uh, especially for everything that you're going to be getting. But uh, that's it for me, guys. Uh, definitely thanks for watching. Uh, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for future notifications and future uh, reviews. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next review, which will be Tall Geese, uh, the real grade Tall Geese. But I will be seeing you guys later. Bye-bye.